Hey, Ryan Baltz, we're about 10 minutes in with the training right now. <laughs> I totally forgot you wanted me to record this. So we're recording now. <laughs> we just got through adding our neighbors to, to, our, to our, uh, our database, and now we're sending them an enrollment link, just so you know where everybody's at. Then we're going to be getting to questions and answers. Yes. Now, now you hit next. Once you found your person, if you send them the link to sit, go ahead and click next. I like I like the default text that they have. If you if you want to add or change or delete, you can. Just don't touch the hyperlink, which is all this text down here. <laughs> It's not. I know. So just so you know, uh, right now, and they are they are aware of it. I've made them aware. Um, it doesn't automatically capitalize the first letter of the sentence, so you have to do that manually, which is kind of annoying. But they know about it. And spell check. You have to make sure to spell check. So, just keep an eye on it. Cool. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and send it over to them. Go ahead and push send. And now here's where you are talking with your distributor and your and your prospect, and you say, "Take a look at your phone." And wasn't that easy? <laughs> Matt, Matt, can you send me the link? Can you send me an enrollment link? Send you a Yes. regular texting app to pull up the link that they just sent you. So here's here's what mine looks like coming from Matthew. I'm thrilled to have you join my life and distributor team. Just follow this link to complete your enrollment and we will get started on your training immediately. Love it. I'm going to click on the link if you haven't already. Find the text and click on the link. Now here's what, here's the wow factor for the people. They pull it up, wow, it's already got all my information in there. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> it's already got my name, which is LV David. I need to get a name change. And <laughs> it's got my email, it's already got my phone. So I, I like to use this method whenever they say, whenever they want more information on the business facts. Okay, if they, if they want more info on the business facts and they want to see it, I like to do this because it, one thing, it automatically starts their application process and then it also shows them the information on the start facts like they wanted through a very simple, and then we're already there, process. So you hit start your application? Yes. And that runs up? Yep. 
So now, like I did this the other day, I was on Zoom on my iPad and I put my friend Barry into the app and I sent him a link. I was like, okay, cool, check your phone, now pull it up, all your stuff is already in there. But this gives you an idea of all the product that you're getting. Now how do you get rid of it so you don't accidentally join it again? You just back up. <laughs> It'd be really hard for you to join it again. Yeah, it, really it, it, won't, it won't immediately it won't go let to us, that screen. Yeah. The email has already been used. Yeah. So the email, this email address has already been used. Please try a different email. Good point. Just use a joke. Just back up. Um, yeah, this, that's because of what you sent me. So now I just mm -hmm. check my email. You, and, yeah, if, if you've already signed up, then just use a random email, a different email. Some people have two. I have like four. This, yeah, exactly. This is after they're excited about getting started and they want more information on, on the business. So this is after putting in your phone number and email and click start application. I'm doing this if they are really excited about the business. They haven't given me an exact yes yet. They haven't, but in order to to get them excited about it, you have to at least walk them through everything else. You know. Well, and it's like you know, Yeah, you, you can't even get to this part without first finding their pain and asking, are you open to taking a look at the business? Are you open to taking, you know, if I can show you how to make an extra $500 a month inside, would you be open to that information? Well, if you have done that to someone that has not said definitely yes on your logo, are they accepting yeah. to this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've done this with like four or five months. Yeah. 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 I, I do this whenever they want it, whenever they are wanting information on the business facts. I don't always do this, but this is a good, I'm probably going to start doing this more often because it's very, it's very simple and easy and it just shows how and credibility in the company. And how easy it is. And how easy it is. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody ready for a shopping cart? No. You don't exactly need to get all the way through this enrollment. Um, you just need to see what I did um, because you've already you've already enrolled. You already know what the start packs look like. I'm just showing you what I like to do for, for people that want business information. Yeah. So now this is somebody that the next best step is I want to try the product for myself. Okay. Great. I'm going to add you to my business line, my business app, and I'm going to help you. I'm going to send you a shopping cart link, okay? So now, go back to the plus. Go, yeah, go back in the app, pull up the plus, share cart. Now here's where it can kind of get tricky. I'm sorry, I was... What'd you say? I said, I got two new cards. All right. You got to leave this. All right, yeah. Because you put a lot of interests in there. Yeah. All right, so here's where it can kind of get a little tricky. So hang in, take a deep seat with me. Okay. That's a rodeo term. 
I learned that from Greg Geeker the other night. So here's where it can kind of get tricky. I thought all the products would be here. It's not. So they have two things already set up featured. Okay, so the first one, for some reason, this is all you need to. It needs to, be, it needs to say Vitality Stack. The first one is the Vitality Stack. So if you click on it, the Vitality Stack is already ready to go. Okay. The next one down is the Activated Essentials Pack. If you click on it, it's already ready to go. If you want to send them something else, like just a bottle of Nerf 2 or the skincare, you have to click New. This is where you find the rest of the products. Okay. New. So I'm going to click on new. Here's what their cart looks like. So far it's empty. I'm going to click add product. Can y'all see okay over there? Do I need to turn the screen? Okay. Cool. You, you add the cart first. That comes later. So go ahead and. This is the cart before the horse. <laughs> All right. So my friend the other day wanted a cart about Protandum Nerf 2. Click on that, click add. And she wanted the skin care line. So you have to do each one separately. So after you click on it, up in the top right hand corner, there's an add button. Nerf 2 is way down the line. I don't know why it's so far down there. <laughs> we have to look at all those things. <laughs> Brian, they're wondering why Protein and Nerf 2 is all the way at the bottom. And uh, TK said so that way they have to look at all the rest of the products. <laughs> The marketing. <laughs> so I'm going to add the skincare line to the cart also. Boom. Now they have these two. Yes. Now they have these two in the cart. Now, if you're done, if you want to add any more, that one you did to. Mom, does it look like this? Something like this? All right, next is attach cart. Click on attach cart. Now, here's where you search for your neighbor. <laughs> yes. Okay, this part here is tricky too. Everyone check this out. So whenever you get to this part, so make sure that you're sending it to their phone number, okay? Whenever you have their email and their phone in, in, in the app, okay, you gotta make sure. So I just always click on it to make sure that it's to their phone number, because that's what everybody looks at is their phone. You have to go back to their phone. No, no, right here, click on their little icon. Whenever you do, it'll pull up their phone number and their email if you have both of that in there. So just make sure that there's a check next to his phone number. Okay, if I were to send it without clicking on that, it would have gone to his email and we would have all been like, what the heck? Because <laughs> sometimes they don't get the notification for their email. So. That's what happened today. And 
Yes. yes. Okay. So good, uh, good point. Whenever you click on the phone number, it will unclick the other one. So it's not like a, you know, a checkbox where you have to uncheck and then check the other one. You just click on the phone number and it'll automatically switch over. Okay, everybody follow? So if I were to look at that again, that is checked, just to make sure. Okay. Everybody good? You good? Go ahead and send your cards if you, if you got it set up to their phone number. Send. But only if they want it. I want to listen. All right, I just got the notification from my cart. She didn't actually wait. You got your phone number because Brian says in that training video, you don't get it, doesn't come from your own personal phone. Right. What's it called? It's, it's, called See, look. it's your business line. The app creates a dummy phone number for each and every one of us. This is what it looks like for Matthew. You said something about that they should enter a different number. Mm -hmm. It does say that on that very first message that comes through. Oh, yeah. Down at the bottom, it says. Yes. Basically. Uh, she's right. It'll say on the text message, this is, you know, Pat's business number. This is my text only line. Please save this as my contact. Yeah. It does say the same. Can I ask you though, Please. do you know that? So that number that's given to me, do I have that same number for everyone now? Pretty sure. For every different person? Yeah. Pretty sure. be a lot of numbers that they have to make a new one every single time. That would make sense. Okay. Well, she tells them to add that they want to get my number right there. And again, it's just your business number is different from the phone. And so they have to create a second number. No. That's just they just add that number to your contact. Oh, okay. Like, like, like every number is the same for everyone. Yeah. That's it. We should all have to use the number. Yes. Yeah. Does anybody have this same number <laughs> that's showing up? No. It's all from different numbers. happened to my friend. I was standing right next to her. I was talking to her, asking her what she wanted. And I put it in. I sent it to her. She got it. I was like, click on that. And she's like, oh, wow, that was so easy. That was awesome. And I was like, yes. But why is it all blank? Exactly. It doesn't bring over their information on this one for some reason. Okay. Good question. They're wondering why this one doesn't bring over their personal information. That would be a cool feature if we could add that. No, at the bottom it says your order. Yeah, at the bottom it does. It's hard to see it on mine because it's just covering it up. So if you click on that, oh, a little more details. This is where they pick it. It, it defaults to that, yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. So good. Uh, they just brought up a good point. How do we get rid of the little chat bar, Ryan? Um, you, you can see how the little chat bubble is actually covering up some of our order. So that uh, could be problematic. Just click on it uh, to bring up the order. At least then you can see it. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to move that around, Ryan, and I can't. I'm trying to hold my thumb on it, and it's not moving. It's not movable. That's not a bad idea, though, if we want to. You guys want to add like an X to that, or if you want to, uh, to be able to allow us to move that around, that would be a good idea. <laughs> Let's do one of those. Is everybody cool with the with the cart? Yeah. Can we move on? You guys good? Wow. Really want to master cool. So now we're going to go back to the app. I want to share a video. So this time, there's two different ways you can do it. You can either click on their name first, or you can click on the video. Okay, go back to the app. Not the plus. No, not the plus this time. This one isn't. This one isn't. Let's start with by finding your person first. How's that? Or would y'all rather do it the other way? Let's actually do it the other way. Because a lot of times you have a video in mind, and it's like, ooh, I, you know, I want to send this to somebody. So let's start with the video first. So click over here in media. The video um, organization right now, the media organization is not where they want it to be, so just bear with them, okay? Every video is in every category right now. <laughs> so, kind of fun. Every video is in every category. Let's, let's click on Pro Tandem. I clicked on Pro Tandem. Click on Media. And then any video, just find a video that you want. It doesn't matter for this one. Okay, I'm going to click on the new memory metabolism and energy video. Okay. If you scroll down in media, there's a pro tan box. Yeah. Yeah. No, one this is in that okay. now up in the top right hand corner there's going to be a, a two things favorite if you want to be sending this video frequently which is not a bad idea go ahead and favorite that one yes right there top right hand corner now click now click the next one for everybody that yes for everybody that doesn't have an iPhone this means share that's what, that's what iPhone uses for share Yeah, stop right. Um, message for this one. We're going to message it to our neighbor. That means. Right now, that only means WhatsApp and Hangouts. More. Right. More, more is coming. They're, they're actually working on messenger integration. Okay, It should fall in there. I know you wouldn't really want to put it on your public Facebook, but you know, for, uh, for your groups and everything, find it on YouTube. So we're going to do message. Select your neighbor. There we go. Next. Yeah, and if you have multiple people that you want to send this to, I love to use 
all the new stuff. And this is a great new video uh, where you where you reach out to them a different way and say, hey, I uh, just wanted to keep you in the loop on some things. The company just came out with an awesome new funny video. I think you'd love it. Can I share it with you? Or if I if I sent it over to you, would you watch it? Okay. Then you come to the app and you share it this way. Do you like to respond? Yes. It's always better to ask people's permission first. So I'm going to check and double, double check to make sure by clicking up there at his icon to make sure that, that his number is checked. Now, this is a blank message. Okay, I'm going to capitalize manually. It's not there yet, so it looks more professional when it be capitalized. Hey, Matthew, this is the awesome video I was telling you about. This one here doesn't really matter too much. Um, I like to say, hey, Matt, here's that video I was telling you about. Let me know what you think about it. I always give them the next step. Give them an action step. Candy, let me know what you think about this. <laughs> My best is this one. It says maybe, and then um, maybe when I see. It's just maybe. <laughs> so go ahead and send that to your neighbor. You get it? Yes. Now here's what I love about this. This and all of these links have metadata in it. It's a track, it's tracking data, almost like cookies, okay? It doesn't slow anybody's phone down, but what it does is it lets you know whenever your person clicks on it. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so when they click on it, watch the track. Yes. You'll get a card in your app. That's how it should work. It's not working like that yet, but that's how it should work. Did you hear that, Ryan? <laughs> sure you do. We're not getting a card yet for whenever they watch the app or watch the video, but we are getting a card whenever they have not. So I would like it if we could get a card whenever they have watched the video. That would help speed things up. Thanks, buddy. What? And you need to take them so we can look at them again. It is. Oh, okay. I can upload this to the. Yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs>
Hey Ryan, we're gonna try and delete a cart. And it looks like the option is not there yet. So how do you delete a saved cart? I tried by deleting it. And there's no option to actually save. Or if I'm clicking attach, it doesn't work. There's no option to click save and then click back. And it's still there. So that would be a good update. Does this help for you guys? Yes. Cool, it's past time. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you, Ryan, for joining. I hope this really helped. Um, help the, the development and everybody watching this by recording. I appreciate you guys. We're going to be doing more of these recordings. Bye now.